If you want the answer, uh, yeah, I could give the money back. It is within my power. Um, but I'm going to look out for myself and not do that. I, I, you know, I don't like know what else to say. That's just the most honest answer. I wonder what Ice Poseidon's up to nowadays. He invented the RV concept. Yeah, I think he just he got in trouble because he did that pump and dump. What are you with, talking about? Um, I, I need to get in touch with him about about um, that money I sent him for for our crypto. <laughs> <laughs> I sent him thirteen grand, and he said I was going to double it. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, so he's probably I don't know mitigating that, trying to balance it out with starting streaming again. I can't imagine his community is going to be like cool with him ever again if because we we watched that clip of him talking about it, right? Like we all did, where they were like, "So let me help you. Let me help me understand, Ice. What you did is you." pushed it and then when it hit a mass that you could make money you pulled the funding stock out and that was it and you made your money and he's like that's correct like and it's like yes. so you pumped it and then you dumped it and he's like strictly speaking that is correct yeah it's like, it's like, i don't really like how you're like phrasing it exactly the way it happened but legally speaking <laughs> yes it is a pump and dump yeah. <laughs> it was called rugging it he pulled the rug out remember that yeah and um yeah, Mel, you're like, I can't imagine his community will ever be cool with him again. Dude, his community has come back to him a couple times already. Like, I guess they hated his girlfriend, so he just pretended to dump her and continued to date her along, like, for That's months. such a no I big thought deal she was, compared I to thought this. She, this is like robbing people, it, knowingly taking, knowingly telling someone to invest in something that you know will lose them every penny that they put into it knowingly well, doing that to someone is beyond shitty it's just like getting donations not at all fuck him no, no <laughs> all right it, it's like getting donations to start a company that and that and then but don't worry you're all going to get like the profits when the company gets off the ground like, like they invested he and, said that the people who bought these things knew how to lose money already that well, they were all in <laughs> as all investors do mm -hmm. as all investors do. i don't know I, like i'm genuinely interested in the psychology behind it because i feel like this is almost an acceptable relationship with his subs like yeah i'm i am here to make money off of you people and i do it any way that i can i, I will tell lies i will run scams welcome to the show is that not the show no i i don't watch him but okay. like it's definitely different like he if didn't worry they wouldn't I, there's no way he went into that thinking this is going to be a great opportunity this is going to be its own currency lots of people are going to make money a rising tide raises all ships we're all going to make out like bandits like no he clearly didn't do that he went into it and there's video of him talking about this too like some other guy like sam pepper did the same thing and they like were talking about it in like a way of adulation like man what do you think he's doing now he got his two million or so and he's out man they're like wow i wish someday i could rob people or scam them mm -hmm. he's not robbing i wish i could scam people the way he did well that guy was a scammer for the yeah. age because uh, apparently i scam for like I, uh, if my number's not perfect, it's close, like three hundred fifty thousand, four hundred thousand, something like that. Yeah. But Sam Pepper scammed for a couple of million, and they were just really admiring how effective that scam was. Yeah. So he just copied what someone else did after explicitly spelling out that he wanted to do something similar, and then he did it. I don't like. I don't like how people are talking about what I did in exactly the terms and way that I did it. Um, you know. I'm going to, it's like, what, what the fuck, dude? Like, no, that shit is so fucked up to, to, I don't He's know. That, that, that gets in like raw. I don't like that. It's like huh. tricking people that have been supporting you, you know, like they're the reason that he's not working at Subway. 100%. They're the reason he's not making sandwiches at Subway. LA Fitness, but yeah. LA Fitness, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> but, and then to like turn around and just full throatedly say, fuck you. Like I'm gonna take your money and I'm gonna dump it and pull the rug and then yeah, I'm and gonna I think that there's this like I think there's this like I don't want to call it a false narrative. There's this perception that everyone who got involved were his core group of guys who normally watch him okay. and operate a robot with a knife on it, and they know who Ice Poseidon is, and they know his alter ego, and they knew his ex girlfriend, and they knew the shit he's done in the past. But of course, there are those, but then I they're they're like levels that extend out from beyond that with less and less familiarity 
familiarity with him and his product and his persona and the show. Mm -hmm. And those people certainly, so plenty of them got swiped, uh, got, got uh, swooped up in like the mania that may have been artificially created by him. And, mm -hmm. and look, from what I've been told, he made restitution to quite a few people. Like he sent money back. Did he send it all back? I haven't heard that. But I was told he sent amounts of money back that would have been difficult for anyone to send back. Tens mm -hmm. of thousands of dollars. And that to me demonstrates that like there's something there. Because if, if you're doing this as a villain who's like, I got it all and I'm heading for the hills, you don't give a penny back. Yeah. His most recent video was in September of 21. So he's not uploading videos. Is he on the internet anymore? No, I don't know. Let's see. Let's take a look. So that, that would seem as though he's doing exactly what a lot of people said. Which is cutting Wait, and running. Let's see what he's up to. Hasn't tweeted since February 1st. Oh, and that was a response to being like called out for this. ripping people did off. in his yeah. career? Uh, it, it looks as though it did. The best part is he, he, we talked about pumping and dumping right here with him. Um, yeah. So. Yeah. He, and he, he on the show and explained it and he was excited about the prospect of it. And he, I mean, he it, it was like that Sopranos episode where like the, the cousin Brian is joking around about the HUD scheme. And then a month later, Tony's like, yeah, little, little gift for you for the good ideas you gave me. He's like, you <laughs> did that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like it was kind of like that like we were all goofing around like, yeah hypothetically we'd rip everybody off and pump yeah. it up ha, ha, ha. and he's like fuck yeah it wasn't a good investment <laughs> if that's how it went out. like so let's say that he gave back a substantial amount of money that 350 i talked about turned into 250 i'm making this up but work with it 250 grand for his career like that's not a good trade-off he's probably making something close to that annually you forgot he still has all of that coin <laughs> oh yeah, he's the sole owner of Pucoin or whatever the fuck. Actually, Pucoin would probably be a much more lucrative thing to own. <laughs> I mean, that's gotta be that's billions. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it could be billions. See, so, it could invest. be fucking dog shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, what a mess. Yeah, yeah. Mess. too bad he. Ah, I wish he didn't go like that. I wish he didn't do it. I bet he wishes he didn't do it too. I get like the the same vibe I get from like that stuff, like. It's not not even close to equivalent. What he did was was fucked up, like. But seeing like celebrities trying to sell NFTs is like, mm. I don't believe you. I think you're a scam artist. I think you're a huckster. Like, if there were a ton of money in NFTs, you'd be buying them, not selling them. Like, that's the way it would work. This is gonna be this picture of this ape, Woody. This is gonna be worth a million dollars in two years. This can be yours for nine grand. It's like, oh, wow, I'm either the dumbest man alive or I'm like trying to fool you into I, buying something that is useless or worthless. I and I'll get someone it. saying in like my comments or reaching out to me, messaging me, you just don't understand NFTs. Yep. True. But like you can look at the pattern surrounding this and how quickly some areas of it have already collapsed and be like, OK, well, this isn't a, this this people will be like when crypto came out, people acted like this, too. No, they didn't. I remember that. People were like, it was not at all the same vibe, NFTs and crypto. Like, it, I agree. I think it, it, like in my little universe, right? The, my observable universe, NFTs have already peaked and they're back down, right? Yep. The, people have recognized it's the scam. Anyone who's buying NFTs now is the bag holder. They're going to be left holding the bag and then lose all their money. Remember, we had that guest on our show. Was it Doug Polk, maybe something like that? So, and he was like, you guys hear about NFTs and crypto? And we were like, ah, eh, you know, I, I'm going to go with my guaranteed method of breaking even by just staying away from this shit. Mm -hmm. I wonder where it was when he said it and where like it went to, like, what was the ride? Because I think NFTs bullshit crypto mm -hmm. might still be way up. I haven't heard about Bitcoin in a while. I think it uh, is. I mean, it's on a great trend. Like it's Bitcoin's been outperforming every major market for 12 years or however long it's been a thing. What, 2011? It, it depends on the time period, right? Because um, if you go from, say, November of last year, it, it dropped in a half-ish. That's true. So, But uh, if, if you've held it since the beginning, then you're making a ton of money. Yeah. Uh, 
That would be like suicide fuel to be that guy who spent 11,000 Bitcoin on pizza. <laughs> like, can you imagine being that guy today? That's I feel cool. like that guy. Like uh, I um, when I was at Cisco, I had stock options and I don't know. I think I couldn't sell them, but but I was it was just a good amount of money. It wasn't a ton, mm -hmm. but it was I, I was a multi hundred thousand air with stock options from Cisco. And before I vested to sell them, the dot com boom dot com crash happened that's what i'm looking mm -hmm. for. and um uh, and you know it was like shit i didn't cash out i couldn't cash out and i lost a lot of money so well potential money mm -hmm. so uh yeah anyway i've been there i think it helped me though i think that somewhere on my youtube journey i was like all right you know like be smart about this don't think it mm -hmm. never ends don't think this ride only goes up uh it was a good education so what are we looking at here? This yeah. is what these things have sold for a million dollars for moonbirds. <laughs> is this wealthy people laundering money somehow? Ooh. Anytime I see weird shit being bought for a lot of money, I'm like, I don't know. Sales in the past week. Oh, so, so there are people are still buying expensive shit. Moonbirds. I'm with Taylor. I don't understand why anyone would pay a lot for these things. I don't get it either, but I'm, I've been wrong about so much shit so many times. Like I could be a million billion percent wrong about this too. Especially this area. I've been wrong about, I've been consistently wrong about crypto from the start. I mm -hmm. hang my head on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. I've, I've made precisely zero correct calls in the last 10 years, <laughs> but everybody listened to my take. <laughs> oh, Kyle, I have those exact same ones, man. Right.